Hello, Mr. Frank. How are you? I am fine. Nice to see you again. So this is like our every two month date now. <laughs> <laughs> but a big, 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 big congrats on Lamborghini, the man behind the legend. It's an eye-opening film about Lamborghini. I mean, seriously, I only knew the name as a car. I didn't know there's a man behind the legend. I, so I know, right? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, it's funny you say that because people say to me, oh, wait a minute, Lamborghini's a person? I'm like, yeah, it's a person. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, first things first, though. Take us from the very beginning, Mr. Frank. What got you interested in joining the cast as Ferruccio Lamborghini? Uh, well, first of all, Bobby Moresco, who I, I know and love. And uh, and then to be an Italian and to, and to be offered to go back to Italy and to play one of these great Italian icons, uh, it wasn't hard to say yes to. Yeah. Well, yeah. how did you channel the man that, that behind the legend? You know, obviously I didn't meet him because uh, he's not with us, but I yeah. spoke to his son uh, who wrote the book. And that guy is an amalgamation of who I imagine uh, Ferruccio is and my uncle Roy, who is my father's <laughs> brother, who's from Calabria, Italy, who's... It could, if if there was another Lamborghini, it would be my uncle Roy. Uh, so I kind of uh, I kind of used my imagination a bit, and uh, I recently saw Tonino again at the Rome Film Festival, and I said, Tonino, what did I do? I do a good job, and he kissed me on both cheeks. And uh, so so if I made him happy. Uh, I guess we, we did a good enough job, yeah. It's the biggest compliment for the role, exactly. In your research of the man, though, Mr. Frank, what was your biggest discovery about Lamborghini? Everybody keeps asking, and I'll tell you, It's I, I keep saying it, it's the fact that Ferruccio was already a very successful businessman. He had a tractor company and an air conditioning and heating company. And he was very wealthy. He owned many Ferraris. Oh, wow. And and he started Lamborghini, you know, as as a as a mature man, uh, because he wanted to make a better car than Ferrari. Wow. But yet, you know what, though, yet the film is kind of framed as uh as almost like a Cinderella story, right? I mean, it's yeah. an against it's an against all odds tale about a man and his passion, right, Mr. Frank? Right. And it's exactly right. And what he's willing to sacrifice for that passion, Do you know, right. something, always, there's always cause and effect. And so, yes, he accomplished a great deal in his life, specifically with his car company, but at what cost to his family, to his marriage, to his friendships. And that's the part of the story too. Right. It's, it's like, well, you know, every time you follow your passion, that's kind of like what happens. <laughs> because, because you have to have blinders, you know, you, yeah, yeah. you you do and you can't be at every baseball game and you can't be home for dinner with your wife every night. It's just, it's not feasible. Yeah, exactly. No, Lamborghini, the man behind the legend, arrives in theaters and digital on November 18th. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the film, Mr. Frank? You know, I hope they get uh, a, a good um, they believe in the character that we've created here and, and they and they can follow the story based on the authenticity of of, of who I made Ferruccio to be. Oh, exactly. The authenticity of your performance, which is very yeah. quite authentic, Mr. Frank. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so welcome. A big congrats on Lamborghini, the man behind the legend again. It will zoom right to your hearts. Thank you so much. I like, I love that sweater. Thank you, Macy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Frank. Good luck on everything, okay? Bye. Bye-bye.